much. Uh, so firstly, are there any uh, amendments to this or alterations before I call for a, a um, mover and a seconder? They're basically to adopt the uh, long-term council community plan amendments uh, to present to audit. Is it called LTCCP still or we've now LTP? Okay. Um, right. So that's fine. I couldn't ask the question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if there's no amendments, can we move it? And a seconder, please. Fairly mechanical. Um, move to Councillor McCrate, second to Councillor Johnson. All those in favour? Hold it, hold it. Hold it. Hold it. One thing that we need to note in relation to this is that um, that there is only one amendment to the LTCCP. Mm -hmm. right. no, the one rating amendment. The one rating amendment. Yeah. yeah. This, this matter here simply needs to be adopted for consultation with the one rating amendment. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what, what, where to from here? Do you want this moved and, and do we want that included? So the resolution to the minutes. So the suggested resolutions is two, just three. Has everybody got copies of this? I'm going to read it out. Yeah, sorry, you confused the hell of me. Yeah, so we're simply adopting the minutes. Well, I was doing that. So this yeah. happens in item 4A. Yes, sir. Forever. Forever. <laughs> 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 Going back to... Forgive me. <laughs> 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 that was speeding the proceedings up. <laughs> yes, I know. I was, I was focusing ahead, and I, and I should have... Right, as Webcam, back on it is. Right, we're at item 4. I did ask if there's any amendments to these minutes. There wasn't any that I know of or alterations. I asked for a mover and a second, but I forgot who they were. Are they recorded? Yes. Okay, called. All in favour? Aye. Uh, carried. <coughs> uh, any matters arising discussion thereof? Which is um, the LTCP amendment. Going up consultation? No? Fine. Okay, moving now to item number five, which is the Turangi Tongariro Community Board meeting, which was held on the 8th of March of 2011 at 1 pm. Mm. Uh, we can only receive these minutes because these minutes have not been um, uh, moved as, uh, yeah, they have not been, um, so we can only move that these are receipted. Any discussion bef before I put this matter to the, oh no, I need a, a mover and a second to first please. Move. Move. Second, uh, move Councillor Kepper, second to uh, Councillor Henderson. Uh, is there any discussion before I put these particular minutes to the vote? Being none, all in favour? Aye. Any matters arising? Yeah, just, just one page, 5 bar 5, resolution 4935. Um, the board chose not to to make a submission to the draft annual plan. Um, this is not in line with the board's role and the board will readdress this at its next meeting on the 12th of April. Yeah, I think uh, just to clarify, there has been a, um, a misunderstanding in past trianiums and past chairs of committees and committee members uh, and it was thought that um, because there are councillors on the community board that they couldn't be involved in the um, of the making or the building of submissions to come to council, and in fact, we, that is an incorrect. And you can, both you, Councillor Kevin, Councillor Henderson, can be involved in working with your community board to make submissions to the annual plan process. So that's still got time to do that, isn't it? Um, yes, because uh, but it just puts in a different type of process rather than the beginning when we go out with the draft. So just to clarify there, we were originally told that we couldn't participate in that process, but we can. Yeah, okay then. And historically, it's been wrong. Uh, I don't need to name people, but I was also under that Im impression. I've been to council, uh, community board meetings, 
where we have left the room because a submission was being made to council and we thought because we were council that you couldn't submit to yourself, but in actual fact you can submit to yourself. So we were wrong, hands up, and Gary got it wrong and his predecessor got it wrong, but the facts are you can. I, I might just point out, Your Worship, I was actually going to challenge it since I'm sitting in the chair this time, but <coughs> I um, don't need to. Well, there you go. So anyway, <laughs> nobody's perfect, but you can uh, uh, be part of the building of the submission and listen to the submission. I just, ca just a couple of points. I was going to challenge it also because I, I wasn't able to find any reference to that, but I'm glad that it's changed. Uh, secondly, in relation to these minutes, I do have some issues with them, but I'll raise those firstly through the community board before they come back to council. Right. right. Moving on now to uh, item number six, which is Lake Taupo uh, project uh, the joint, joint committee meeting. Um, they stood these again, uh, unconfirmed minutes, and it was held on the 14th of February, as you can see. Um, before we move them or accept them, um, Anne, do you wish to comment on them at all? Uh, no, the, the, this was um, simply our, the, the first meeting of the triennium that uh, the joint committee had, um, so you see a lot of it as well in the process. And I think we got two new members because of elections, didn't we? We've got Councillor Henderson to come in. Yes. And he came in. Um, Councillor Bidette. So, any questions, discussions on those minutes? Seeing none, I have a mover, please. All move, second, please. Second, uh, Councillor Henderson. All in favour? Aye. Thank you. Okay, item number seven is Rugby World Cup 2011 uh, Coordination Committee minutes, and I might <coughs> put there as another meeting again tomorrow and we're only about five months out now so it's all getting it's all getting quite a war well, it's always been important but it's all it's sort of okay the clock is really really ticking now and I think that's 10 o'clock in the chambers here tomorrow chaired by uh, Councillor Downard it is an open um, a meeting so anybody's welcome to attend um, so you know moving back to these particular um, uh, minutes here also before I put any questions or discussion and do you wish to comment on these minutes and or if not and um, the chairperson um, uh, council, uh, council down it. Uh, no, I think I said nothing in the deliberations and in okay. the clean. That's cool. Right. Well, well let's, um, are, these, are these unconfirmed? Yeah, they're unconfirmed till tomorrow. These again are unconfirmed. So is there any questions, discussions from general people? Uh, any issues there that um, anybody wants to raise? Oh, sorry, Councillor Henderson. Um, yeah, I've just got a question from the last page of the report, I think, of the March 30th meeting, um, under finances, just sorry, need, sorry? Um, on page 4 bar 2, sorry? 4 bar 2? 7 bar 6. 7 bar 6, I'm possibly, oh, sorry, the, the I'm possibly looking at a different copy, yeah, yeah. It's um, under finances, um, see where I've got that? I'm working from a different copy, I think. Reading from? Um, I'm looking at the minutes from the 30th of March. This meeting was held on 20th of February that we're confirming. Is it? Okay, alright, sorry. I'm okay, alright. That one's tomorrow. Ah, okay. Oh, tomorrow. Still oh, tomorrow's right. agenda, we haven't had the Oh, so I'm yet. so far ahead. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Okay. okay, let's go back. Gotcha. Um, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> and you, we <laughs> thought you were quick. He's a whole day ahead of you. Just be glad I'm only a day. Councillor Henderson give us the lotto numbers for Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> then we'll have no debt. <laughs> okay, this is, uh, go back to in your agenda, 7 bar 1 through to 7 bar 7. Yeah. Any questions or discussion from those pages, please? Being none. Uh, have, oh, sorry, Councillor Hickman. I've uh, just got a wee bit of concern about the use of Kamanawa Reserve for possible motorhome parking over that period of time. It is one of our major playing fields, uh, particularly for cricket, particularly for cricket, and the cricket season will only just be starting. Uh, and I would have some concerns regarding the possible damage to that playing field. I hope that we'd get enough money for them to get a brand new cricket uh, pitch out of it. 
I thought the one of the su suggestions earlier in the piece was the um, primary school ground playing field. So I would that's certainly support that. Well, primary school, um, we don't have, actually have any control over, but um, the PTA or Parent Teacher Association, or whatever they call them, of the school is considering doing camper van parking, and we can, we can, we can certainly um, support them, but we can't stop them or anything like that. But I know they are supporting it. I don't know that they've actually made a decision yet, but um, Rugby World Cup Committee, that's chaired by Councillor Downard, um, are very keen to uh, have that bent and use it for... Um, What's the process with that? Uh, and is that a council decision, Your I Worship? Um, certainly, there's actually a lot more work to be done here. I mean, it was simply a suggestion that was was put forward at the meeting. Um, and as, as I understand it, Mr. Riddle will be uh, talking tomorrow about um, the whole the whole issue of, of um, camper vans and how we how we might deal with them. And I think probably there's actually another pathway forward here. This is, be, this is coming to the meeting tomorrow. I will look, we'll note Councillor Hickling's uh, feelings on the matter and um, leave it to your committee tomorrow. Yeah, just to put um, Councillor Hickling at rest, it was just a suggestion that, that area. We do believe, uh, well, the Rugby World Cup co hosting committee do believe that we do need uh, an area for them. Um, so whereabouts that area is. I'm actually space. wondering, just we shouldn't really be doing this here, and I'm mindful of time. And, up now. I actually wonder if one of us, perhaps you, Rob, uh, you, um, Mike, or me, because the school has actually got two properties. It's got its main school and then it's got the other one where the Wairiki's at the eastern end of it. There's two big opportunities there that, hey, maybe the school might want to be part of it and, and raise a lot of dosh and it's still... You've also got Tapanui Atea just up on Spa Road, and I mean, that's not a long walk to too far. In fact, no matter how many beers you've had. Yeah, Mr Chairman, again, until we hear from uh, Mr Ridd tomorrow. Okay, exactly so can we leave that talk tomorrow? Okay. Your uh, comments are noted and we'll okay. leave that till tomorrow. Okay, so did we move and second these? No, move it please. Oh, sorry. I was just going to add what you just said that we, this comes up tomorrow. The other thing that we need to do is to get a replacement for Warwick Hall, who was going to do the fan zone. So. Yeah, well, okay, hang on. Uh, just um, stick, stick to what's pertinent here today. This is just, um, that's a job for yeah, your committee I'm just, tomorrow. I'm yes, just that's pointing fine. it out, yeah. Yeah, well pointed. Okay, a move and a second, please. Moved, Councillor Downard. I'm happy to second. All in favour? Uh, thank you.